It's one loss and a win for the host, Akari United FC, after two rounds in the Women's Oceania Football Confederation Champions League. But the bounce back from losing first game was an eye-opener. The Hikari United captain, Mari Kaipu, was an inspiration to her side, booting four goals and was the constant threat for the opponent in the slippery condition at St. Hubert Mario Stadium. She led from the front foot and was instrumental in her side's victory against the misfiring Samoan team who conceded big losing margins 0-6 and 0-9 in the past two matches. Apart from skipper Mari Kaipu, all the players in the team did their part and contributed well in this convincing victory. However, the team should not get carried away with the win, because, with respect, Kiwi FC is not in the same category as other teams, form-wise. It leaks way too many points than any other team in the league, and also, it is the only team that is yet to register any goal in the league. In the nutshell, this win should not be a better indicator for the Ekari team and its chances of winning the inaugural women's OFC title. This was evident in the match between Labasa FC and Kolwale FC. Labasa Football Club from Fiji convincingly defeated Kiwi FC six goals to nil only to find itself on the wrong side of the scoreboard against Solomon Islands 0-1 in the second match. Yeah, the six goals is probably due to the, the level of the opposition that we had that day. And uh, even in that goal, the game, we missed quite a number of goals. So that's something we tried to fix in this game, but it just uh, uh, still hasn't worked out yet. So, Kuala is a very good team. Very good team. They will drill. They had the fitness level, but we could see at the end of the first half, they started to tire because they wanted to come fast pace at us. But uh, luckily for us, our defense held, and we could see that they were starting to tire. That encouraged the girls. Uh, and in the second half, you could see that Corrales' pass was still going astray. But nevertheless, they are still a champion side. And uh, it showed in the last two minutes, they kept on going in. The task is now ahead of the Curry United team to remain focused and beat the strong Koloale football club from the Solomon Islands that edged out the high-flying Labasa FC one goal to nil. This match on Thursday will prove whether the host team is a genuine contender for the inaugural women's OFC title. Rex Lita, TV1 Sports.